Hi everybody. I, if you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Carrie. I am a fantasy author and a domestic hot mess, aka stay home, mostly stay at home mom. And I am also big into paper craft and journaling. And I've been doing a bullet journal for the past quarter now. And I have my new one for October. And I'm super excited to show you what I have set up and how I'm gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna have more videos because I am me and I am a journal addict. And I actually have set up bullet journals for my multiple writing projects. So if you want to see how those are set up, I gotta do a little bit of tweaking, but I can show you how I set up for each writing project, at least two of them. And then I have a couple of notebooks on order that I'm setting up for a collab project. So that will be super fun. Let me take a sip of coffee because it is 6.30 in the morning when I'm filming this. So I am under caffeinated severely. Now let's get into this beauty. It's a big boy. This is the B5 from um, Notebook Therapy. So. This is the Moonflower Notebook. It's so pretty. And I, like in my other one, I took a magic marker and I wrote what is in here. Like how far this goes. So this is October to the end of the year. And so we've got my Hashtag hold my purse. I gotta think of another hold my something for 2023. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. I'd like to keep going. I actually, it helped motivate me quite a bit. So here is my extensive index. And then I was playing around with some watercolors. I'm not very good at it. Also, I haven't used watercolor since I was a kid, so there's that too. And we've got the future log. I was playing with markers, if you can't tell, because I've got like the 100 pack of the Crayola Super Tips. So all of the colors. And then I'll just show you October, and then I'll do other videos for, um, November and December so because Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite movies although you can't quite see it in the camera light um, I wrote out the spell that the witches say to turn Thackeray Binks into a cat and yeah it doesn't quite show up on this green um, I think next time if I do something like this, I'm just gonna put in uh, glue and green paper. And I am not the best artist, but my, that cauldron came out pretty good, I have to say. I'm pretty proud of that. And then, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> this is my calendar. I was just slapping stuff on a page. And then this is my goals page, month at a glance. And then this page is my Preptober, not necessarily for rant, for Nano, but just like to prep that these are the two projects that are going to be my focus. So I've got my Adventures to Thera series, which I am now collaborating with with Bestie. And then I've got um, New Witch on Campus, which is the sequel, the, se the second book in my Urban Fantasy series. Book one, Welcome to Coolersville, is hopefully going to be out in November. 
we'll see that is at least a date I would like and then this is some cardstock that I had from an old Halloween pack of scrapbook paper and I kind of like cut all of the tarot card looking pieces um, I have a big stack up on my desk now <laughs> Um, but I wanted something like cute and motivational and then we get into the weekly spreads so here is my weekly I'm doing something a little different um, it's kind of drawn out similarly to what was in the other journal um, where I got you know each day and then the notes section and I saw this on another video I can't remember who's because I was like binging a bunch but somebody put the month in here in the notes section or at least somewhere on the weekly page and then it would highlight the week that you're in which I think is a nice little touch and there's never anything that I put in this notes section so at least it's got something here I've got like I'll put appointments here anything that's it doesn't have to specifically be writing related. Like I've got my daughter's uh, speech appointments and when school is. And I've got my husband's birthday. Um, but there's also writing stuff like the nano kickoff at the library. And then we get into the dailies. So um, I've got my top five writing goals. This is a sprint, sprint tracker. Um, my medication reminders. Uh, I've been pulling either a tarot card or an oracle card just for fun. Um, and that goes there. Um, I'm still learning about tarot. Um, and I use, I got the, um, my friend Laura sent me the Story Arcana book. And so I've been playing around with that. Um, and using the meanings of cards for character stuff and story planning, which has been interesting. Um, and then I have a timesheet. So I'm writing down the times that I like get work done. So like in the mornings now, I get up at like six. And by the time I get my coffee and everything, it's like 6.15, sometimes 6.30, and I'll work until 7 when I have to get the little one out of bed. And then when she's at school, I'll work from 8.30 to 10.30. And when, like, after dinner, I'll say I work from, like, 6 to 10, you know, that kind of stuff. So I can like keep track of what I'm working. And then these sections right here are the two focus projects. So I've got the, um, I I'm going to write the names in here eventually when I get into actually using this book um, in a couple weeks. But this will be um, the contemporary fantasy and the fantasy adventure over on Bella. Um, and I'll have like project specific stuff in these two sections and we'll see if going across is enough or if I'm going to go up and down in future notebooks across at least worked for October because I've got all of these little decorations here so yeah, so that's, oh, and here's an, <laughs> I had to, I already had this written, so I had to make another box for the thing, and I just went in and I used a thicker pen to like emphasize these lines a little better, um, and also this is the only week that I didn't take my brush pen and like thicken the the title of the days and then we'll skip to the end here 
because I already have like the decorations will vary and exactly what I write will vary um, through the end of the year but it's all pretty much set up the same and then I've got my reading tracker that I sadly did not use in the last book and I need to go over this in pen again so I'm gonna just set out my um, I just started I picked up some microns and I have almost I have what do I have I have the 08 the 05 the 03 the 01 and the 005 all in black and then I have a couple different colors either 01 or 05 I've got brown gray red and green this is really nice to um, broaden these lines um, and also ruler handy Nest, must I like it I like this clear ruler um, but yeah um, so I have my social media and my reading tracker and then because it's the last quarter of the year and it's all of the holidays, I made a little section for like a scrapbook. Um, even though this is a work planner, but I don't know, I miss scrapbooking. So maybe that's one of the things I'm gonna get, I'll try to get back into in future. <laughs> so I have a page for my husband's birthday cause he's gonna be old this year. <laughs> And then here's Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, New Year's, and miscellaneous, so maybe like the library event or something like that. And then I've got my 2023 resolutions. So yeah, um... That is it. Um, oh, this is the little um, paper clip that came with it. It's so cute. Um, but I had it in here for something and then I set it aside. So I'm gonna keep it up there so I don't get it lost. Um, so yeah, that is my October through December um, bullet journal setup. Um, I'll show you specifically, you know, I'm sure things will change as time goes on. Um, but I'll show like what I'm doing in November and December. I'll have separate videos for that. And then if you want me to try and figure out how to do, like, you actually see me do the thing, I do have, I have already ordered my first quarter uh, journal, um, first and second quarter, I just ordered. So I am sticking with notebook therapy, hashtag not sponsored, but willing to be. And then, yeah, if you want to see me do the um, other notebook setups um, or see what I have so far, uh, let me know and yeah I think I finally found a system that I can stick with so yeah um, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later um, my link tree is in the description below you probably see me around on other people's live streams uh, when I am able to make it anymore. <laughs> and yeah, so that's it. And have a great day, everybody. Bye.